In this Caden Live tutorial, I will show you how to create a portrait video clip from a landscape video clip. Before I start this tutorial, I will just um, say that I assume you have some knowledge of editing um, in Caden Live. If you're struggling, have a look at my YouTube page and in the playlists you should find a playlist with beginners tutorials and whatnot for Caden Live. So that's that. I won't bore you with that anymore. Okay, so the first thing, um, you need to change the aspect ratio. So what I would do for that is I'd come up to project and project settings. And in settings, you'll need to look for the vertical um, aspect ratio, and that's hidden in the custom section. So just right at the bottom, just select the little arrow next to the custom. And in this, you will find, it's not always easy to find, a vertical option. You'll have two. It want to be HD 30 frames a second and 60 frames a second. I'd select the 30 frames a second. This is what it will render out at. And from the point of view of doing vertical clips for things like uh, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, I wouldn't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. The video I'm using um, in this is uh, 4K and it's 25 frames a second. It works perfectly fine once uh, YouTube has sorted it out or TikTok or any of the other um, social media sites. So select HD 30 frames a second, then OK. And then continue. And this will happen. Now. I tend to work in the edit mode when I'm doing any transformations in Caden Live. I'll show you the reason for this in a minute. Um, the effects section you would think would be the best one, but I'm going to stick with editing. Like I said, I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so we're going to bring a video clip into Caden Live. Swipe it over here. Get rid of this. Now the next thing, it will probably ask you switch clip profile something about it changing so you'll need to do don't switch make sure you select cancel and then just bring the clip into your timeline snap it up to the beginning so that it's showing in this monitor here so i'm going to place an effect over this so down here you'll see something called effects what you're looking for is transform distort and perspective select the little arrow again so you get this drop down and there's a couple in here we'll do you know you've got position and zoom a couple of them here i would tend to keep with the uh, transform one so just drag this over the clip and you should have the settings come up here on the uh, right hand side the problem with um using these tools in the effects box, I'll just show you, is to change, to drag anything, you you have to place your pointer over the, the letter. And as you can see, you ain't got much movement on X if you want to go to the left. So I would go editing um, and make sure you've got your effects um, selected here. And this gives you a few options. It gives you more sort of to work around with if you drag in um, so I just want to fit this to the screen now without distorting it and you've got some things along here little tabs and the very last one should say fit to height it won't distort it it'll just fit it straight to the height that you want now you need to reposition this because obviously you can't see anything if you look at this timeline here you'll see a little sort of square triangly thing this means there's a keyframe here so any position you choose it will remember it at frame one so i'm going to just place my pointer over x and i'm going to just drag this over till i get a view of some of the ducks i don't know 
Let's go to this here. Okay, so that's set this position up here and it will stay in this position any during the duration of playing this video back. But I know that to the right, there's a little bit of action goes on just here, this side here, where they jump out of the, um, the pond onto the side. And I'm going to clip the end of it. It gets a bit blurred at the end, but I'll just take this over that way. So you've got a few options here. I would just drag this little marker along here all the way to the end. And you need to press add keyframe here. So you end up with a red triangle. And then you can move your video. As you can see, it's a little bit blurred towards the end. So you get the position you want. Just about there. And now if I go back, you can use this to previous keyframe. And I'll just kill the sound because they're a bit rowdy, these ducks. You'll see that this video is actually panning across as well as uh, playing as a vertical video. I find um, HD's a little bit not very good, for want of a better word. You're better off if you have got 4K to use 4K for this sort of um, cropping of uh, landscape videos. Like I said at the beginning, I assume you've got a little bit of knowledge, so I won't go into rendering. And I shall leave that as is. Hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.